XRP, 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 where the Bulls are always at the gates getting ready to run. Hi, Vibe Assets. Welcome back to the show, family. We got a great one for you today. You don't want to miss this one. We're going to be talking about how Gary Gensler and the SEC is in over their damn heads. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and turn on those notifications and leave a comment down in the comment section for the high vibes. Same thing over here on my Twitter. Go ahead and give me a follow at High Vibe Assets. You're going to get the latest retweets. You're going to get the latest news. Everything XRP. Everything that when it comes to this digital asset space. Let's go ahead and get into the content. Guess what, family? Look who's back on the scene. He hasn't came out and spoken to the media in about a month. He hasn't came out and spoken to the media in about 30 days ever since he ran the Fox when FTX went down. Mr. Gary Gensler himself, Mr. Burns, still coming out, still talking about that same old rhetoric, how all the rules are clear, that same old prop teller prompter speech that he's been given over the last years that there is regulation in crypto that everything is fine that all the laws are clear let's take a look at mr burns himself the cia operative the governmental op himself mr burns gary gensler so many lawmakers are pointing fingers at the sec over ftx's collapse you have said numerous times Rules, security laws are in place and they apply to crypto. This is an issue of non-compliance. Why didn't the SEC enforce rules on the books? Could that have prevented FTX's collapse? We, we are enforcing. For Americans who are trying to sort of trade in crypto, you know, get yield from crypto, whatever you're, you know, it may be, can they use FTX? Offering the public, they say, they're purporting to offer them an interest return in crypto. 4, 8, 12, sometimes 15 or even 20% returns, and then possibly trading against their customers, trading ahead of their customers, lending that out. Does anybody want to be just like me and want to slap Gary Gensler up beside his damn head? How long is he going to continue with this same old rhetoric? How long is the SEC going to continue to hurt the retail investors and not give them any clear rules and don't want to step up and regulate this damn space? And they're continue talking about how the rules are all clear. Brad Garlinghouse has said it before, family, and I'm sure that he will say it again. The SEC has clearly overstepped its reach when it comes to regulate this crypto industry, family. If Gary Gensler continues to say that there are rules, that there are laws, that everything is clear, why do, why do we have all of these debacles? Why is BlockFi going down? Why is Genesis going down? Why is Gemini going down? Why is FTX going down to the banks, going down to the brinks, even though that Gary Gensler has been meeting with them themselves? This is what Brad Garlinghouse has to tell us, family. He says there is no regard for companies and people that this approach was harmed. We should all be outraged. We should all be standing up. We should all be saying something. The SEC has clearly forgotten that the government works for the people. The SEC has clearly forgotten that the that they're supposed to be doing their job and supposed to be protecting the retail investors. I'm getting tired of Gary Gensler, just like I'm done with Sam Bankman Freed. Things are heating up, family. We have this just in right now. The world faces a staggering financial meltdown with potential losses exceeding the total number of U.S. dollars in circulation. Talking about a bloodbath, family. You're talking about all of the crypto, 99% of the crypto going down to zero. I keep telling you, family, that's exactly what's going to happen. We need to have our eyes up. You need to have your bags packed and you need to be on your toes. You cannot be trusting anybody in this time. And especially you can't trust Jamie Dimon, J.P. Morgan himself, the incompetence himself. I tell you, family, they're way in over in, in their heads. The technology is too big to fail. Blockchain is here for the people. All of the governmental agents, all they try to do is just shake us out. It's just scare us out, family. 
but then they will come around later on in time and say that it's good. Then they'll come around when they put their money in, just how JP Morgan is putting in billions of dollars in the crypto sector. Let's take a look right here of Jamie Dimon. He don't know what he wants to say. He wants to shake everybody out. Blockchain isn't real. Smart contracts. Web3 isn't real. But then he'll turn around and say utility tokens are good. The mix, which I think is a small piece, but maybe you think it's a bigger piece. Janet Yellen called the, the failure of FTX last week a, a Lehman moment in crypto. I don't know if you think that's contained and doesn't matter. Yeah. Do you think it's a symbol of something larger that's happening in the economy? I think, I think crypto is a complete sideshow, okay? And right. you guys spend too much time on it. And I've made my views perfectly clear about Crypto right. tokens are like pet rocks, right. and, there's, right. and 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 people hyping this stuff up. That doesn't mean blockchain is not real. Right. That doesn't mean yeah. smart contracts won't be real or Web 3.0. But cryptocurrencies that don't do anything, I don't understand why people are that. But I don't think she meant it's a Lehman moment. I think she meant it's, it's a Lehman moment, moment for, for crypto. crypto. Yes, for crypto. crypto is worth a trillion dollars. <clears throat> the other thing the American public should look at when you look at crypto. If you look at all the buying and selling, so it, 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 Bitcoin's worth like under a trillion dollars today, and we're not even sure that's a real market, by the way. There's 20 to 30 billion of ransomware a year that we know about, 20 to 30 billion of exchange costs that we know about, lots of AML, anti-terrorism -ter financing, tax avoidance, uh, sex trafficking, and what's, what, why we allow this stuff to take place? And I think, you know, the regulators that have beat up on banks should maybe focus a little more on things like that. All those things were going pretty well before. Crypto, but yeah, uh, so mitigated to the it, easiest place. Yeah, but right. But it was what crypto's about two percent of the of the. Uh, uh, let me ask you this, and, and, and this is what might keep me up at night. So, and this is what you have to understand about these agents, family. This is what you have to understand about the incompetence. Jamie Dimon going up on CNBC just the other day, still spitting that same Bitcoin, that same crypto rhetoric that we were spending, that we, that people were saying in 2013, 2014. There's trillions of dollars in this market. You have all type of utility, especially with the XRP and the XRP ledger and other utility tokens as well. You cannot continue to go out and say these things about the crypto industry. The crypto industry is alive and it is thriving and we are waiting on regulations, especially when you have, especially Jamie Dimon cannot say this when Gary Gensler has said the literal opposite thing. Gary Gensler literally said out of his mouth that you have the central monopolist or you have the incumbents or the powers that be will do everything in their power family to slow down innovation. We all know that Gary Gensler is a CIA agent. I'm not worried about Ripple and this SEC case at all, family. It's all a show. This right here is the same man that we just saw looking like Mr. Burns, looking like a damn shrimp. Because he's in the middle over there at the SEC. But before he got over there in the SEC, he was teaching classes on blockchain. He was teaching classes at MIT about Ripple and Bitcoin and Ethereum. And he's letting us know, family, that he's a part of the game. And the central monopolists will do everything that they can to slow down innovation. Central monopolists with another central monopolist. A lot of commercial banks aren't terribly excited about that. Maybe you're going to have to give some ownership. Maybe you'll have to give 50% of your ownership to the 20 banks that are now, you know, part of this. I mean, there are other ways to build incentives. Maybe you be, put a native token in there and you give, you give, you know, the, the native token. You know, so there may be other incentive ways to beat the current monopolist and, 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 and you know, but, but I, having been around commercial banks for a long time, they really are looking for ways to, um, uh, to, to replace their aggregators in their back office, whether it's clearing, settlement, exchanges, uh, credit agencies. But they are deeply understanding because they're, they're, they are pretty ambitious and very good at making money as well. They deeply understand that every idea that's pitched to them is somebody who currently is small but wants to get big and get
gain market power. You see what Gary Gensler just told us, family? This is why every time that I see him going on the TV and continuing to spit that same old teleprompter script that he's been saying, knowing that he's been teaching these classes at MIT, knowing that he's been over there at the CFTC before, knowing that he's sitting over there at the SEC acting like that he don't know what's going on. He knows. Everybody over there at the SEC knows that they're in way over their heads. Here we have right here family from Coindesk. You know, Coindesk was a part of Ethereum gate. Coindesk thought that they were going to get in with Ethereum and, you know, trying to shill off XRP and trying to talk down on the XRP ledger. As of late, family, Coindesk has finally come out and want to speak a little truth. Let's see what they say is right here. It says telling the next generation that crypto projects that are the only path to compliance is to come in and register and drop dead is like trying to take a Ford Model T into space. Do you see what Coindesk is finally coming out and saying? Because they're fed up as well. They're not going for the BS anymore because they're in the same boat as everyone else. They're finally realizing that the incompetence that be, they're doing everything to slow down this innovation family. This is why we need to be having our armor on and we need to be ready for war. And this will not end family until we get clarity, until we get, until we get regulations over here in the United States. This is what Brad Gardinghouse has been telling us, as he said from day one, that Ripple and the Amazon of crypto will aggressively fight to get clear rules for the entire industry in the United States. Ripple has stood strong and withheld the SEC's onslaught, and he's looking forward to the day when they're on the right side of justice. And you telling me, family, they're not going to be on the right side of justice when you see right here that they're going off paying for their goods and services using XRP, the greatest digital asset? This is a medium of exchange. The many use cases that XRP and the XRP hold family. I'm not worried about it at all. I'm bullish. Make sure you hit that like button, man. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I got a lot of people coming on my channel. They're not leaving comments. Go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section, family. Every time you get on the High Vibes channel, it's always going to be bullish. Here we have right here proof that you can pay for XRP. How is this a security and you can pay for it with XRP? How is this a security? How is this an unregistered security? Can you go into your local Walmart and pay for your goods and services with an Apple stock? Can you go into your nearest mall and buy you some Jordans? Can you go into your nearest car dealership and buy it with a share of Tesla? No, you can't. This is currency. And this is just the beginning. For the use cases of the XRP ledger. Let's not get distracted family. This is going to change the world for the good. Let's take a look at this chart again. This is what I want everyone to understand. When you're talking about the greatest digital asset ever created. That this is only just the beginning. XRP and the XRP ledger is going to be used for bank to bank payments. It's going to be a bridge currency. A store of value. We've just seen family. I'm just showing you proof of how this is a medium of exchange. How you can pay with XRP sourcing global liquidity, smart contracts, micro payments, instant cross border settlements and FX payments and FX settlements covering that one quadrillion dollar market cap. When you're talking about the derivative settlements family, this is the greatest digital asset ever created. And we have right here. And what did what did Gary Gensler tell us that the incompetence that be that the central monopolist are doing everything in their power family to try to slow down this innovation. But they're in over their heads. Here we have right here family for market cap. You're talking about another glitch. Why is XRP the only digital asset that continues to have these glitches? And, you know, it's probably nothing as as everybody always says, you know, it's probably not a big deal. But you have XRP statistics and you have the current price at six thousand dollars. And you telling me that XRP is not going to rise from the ashes. 
Raise your hand right now, family, if you would accept a $6,000 XRP price. Smash that like button if you would accept that $6,000 XRP price. Leave a comment down in the comment section and hit that subscribe button if you would accept a $6,000 XRP price because this is what the powers that be they are trying to hinder us from this we need to stand up. We need regulatory clarity. We need XRP to go ahead and be labeled that currency, that virtual currency, that bridge currency, because the XRP and the XRP ledger is here to transform the financial world. It's here to try. It's here to transform stocks. It's here to tokenize bonds. It's here to tokenize real estate. It's here to have faster cross-border payments to have better international settlements and to transform the whole entire financial world is your real crypto at all you have it you now have a deal with coinbase um, and, and yet you were always sort of also i think a bit of a uh, skeptic of all this oh i actually believe most of the companies are not going to be around i still believe that I do believe because they're, but, because they're not real, they're frauds. And we all understand that family, what Big Brad Garlinghouse has been telling us from the beginning. And just like Larry Fink, he's telling the same thing to us that most of these companies would not be around, that most of these crypto tokens would not be around here in a little bit. Well, I mean, let's think about FTX. I mean, you can look back now. FTX created it. Its failure was it's creating its own token. It was not a DeFi it wasn't a, it wasn't a uh, you know a, a ledger that was open to the world it was a closed ledger right it was not distributed so the whole foundation of what crypto is it's supposed to be a distributed ledger that is across the system Fink uses Garlinghouse's elevator speech. 99% of crypto is going to be washed away. The failure of FTX was creating its own token. It wasn't a distributed open ledger. The failure was because it was centralized. We've heard anti-crypto narratives, and now Fink is embracing open public ledgers or crypto assets. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. Very important. Very important. I am, I, you know, look, at. we have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, oh, people are investing it for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an, index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right the whole entire financial sector family is being transformed right now he's saying the same thing that brad garlinghouse is saying how ftx they went out and they actually went into an ico and created their own they created their own digital security family but we know xrp and the xrp ledger is here to transform the whole entire financial space family this is why you need to load those bags. This is why you cannot blink, family. The SEC is in way over their head. You could have a settlement at any different time. You could have a settlement right before you blink. George, George Judge Torres could come out and deny the motions of the SEC. Here we have right here, family. We have three point three billion xrp is supposedly being lost forever when you look at this family you got 500 million 500 million 500 million transferred to these unknown wallets and you telling me something is not up family you telling me something is not on the horizon you're telling me family that we're not about to experience the next black swan event and the phoenix is about to rise from the ashes make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section and tune in to the next show let everyone know that the bulls are getting ready to run out the damn gates